with the introduction of patch 9.14b, the meta no longer seems to be forcing Volibear and Ninja Assassin comps, but instead relying more on mid to late game units. I've been playing a lot of teamfight tactics, and I've been curious as to what the best comp is, you know, now that I can't go full Sith Lord Volibear on people every game. Anyway, I've been trying a few different comps since the mini patch that massacred my boy, and I think I've narrowed it down to only one comp, and that comp being Demon Sorcerer Yordles. Now, I'm not the only one who has found this out. I mean, the Competitive Teamfight Tactics subreddit has a great post, which includes statistics and data and all that stuff, which I will never be good at. It'll be linked in the description if you want to check that out. It goes more in depth into the comp that I'm talking about today. So what is Demon Sorcerer Yordles? What does it do? Why is it currently the best comp in the game? Well, I'm sure by this point we're all aware of what each synergy does, but for those that don't, the demon synergy gives demons a chance to apply an on-hit effect that burns all mana of whatever champion they're attacking, and you only need two to start the synergy. Sorcerers gain double mana just for existing, and having multiple makes their spells, abilities, ultimates, whatever you want to call them, gain bonus damage, and you need three to start the synergy. And the Yordle synergy, which gives Yordles the ability to dodge more attacks because the opposing units are too dumb to look down and hit the short units attacking their shins. Put all of that together and give the best comp in the game. Now, a normal Demon Sorcerer Yordle comp that I would go for consists of Poppy, Kennen, Vagar, is that how you pronounce it? Lulu, Morgana, and Elise. That means that by level 6, you can potentially have the entire comp already set up and steamrolling your opponents. Kennen will be your main carry, just slap the diary of a wimpy kid on him, and then he'll be more of a threat to this polar bear than climate change. Now, personally, and maybe I'm just in the wrong here, but Poppy is extremely underrated. Yeah, Vagar, is that how you pronounce his name? Yeah, Vagar can one shot things smaller than him, and Morgana does dummy thick damage, but Poppy. Poppy. She stuns two units, does nerdy thick damage, is an absolute tank, you slap a dragon's claw and hextech blade on her, and you'll start to wonder if humans should be allowed to play god after creating this Frankenstein. Anyway, slap some other units that fit into the comp, like this guy with a Call of Duty ultimate, and you'll be set. You're probably not going to win every game, but you can probably get top four every game. Anyway, I stream on Twitch, link to it will be in the description. Subscribe and turn on the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys soon. I've never really been the one who's worried Always been the one who's keeping it cool The kind of guy who chill while others hurry I didn't know that I've been the fool I've been telling lies